Nkozi Johnson turned 12 on Sunday. He spent the day clinging to life, unable to eat or speak. Nkozi was born with AIDS. He has survived longer than any okay. child in South Africa similarly infected. Hey, he bad. came to the world's notice last year when he spoke yeah, about the one. plight of AIDS sufferers in South Africa. He appealed to the government to provide drugs to HIV-positive pregnant mothers. But in December last year, he collapsed and was sent home from hospital to die. He hasn't spoken since he suffered seizures last month. I'm thrilled that he's reached 12, but I'm not thrilled that he's reached 12 in the manner he's reached 12. I would like him to be playing with a soccer ball outside. Children from the Nkozi Johnson AIDS home celebrated his birthday at a pool party. His friends and former schoolmates were all present, even though Nkozi couldn't be there. He's a very nice guy. Um, I really like him. Uh, from grade two, I was, I've been his friend, and I've just known Nkozi, that this little boy. He's taught me a lot of things about AIDS. He's taught me not to give up and with your life, fight for your life. At Nkozi's former school, they threw a party in his honor, complete with marching band and drum majorettes. It was just the thing that Nkozi would have loved. Three years ago, parents tried to stop him coming to school because he had AIDS. But on this day, they were happy to join in as Nkozi's foster mother cut the cake without him.